Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix startup repair couldn't repair your PC in Windows 10 and Windows 11. I will be sharing 7 to 8 effective solutions that you need to try and I'm very sure that you will be getting rid of this problem. So make sure that you watch the video till the end because the video can be a bit lengthy as I'm covering the entire solution. So do not skip any part and if this works for you, do not forget to like and subscribe. So now once you are on this screen that says a startup repair, a startup repair couldn't repair your PC. So here you have to click on advanced options. Then click on troubleshoot. Then click on advanced option again. Now here you will be getting a couple of uh, solution here. The very first thing that I would recommend you that you should try restoring your computer. So click on system restore. And now you will be getting a restore point. Now here I don't have any kind of restore point created, but probably you have created any restore point and even sometime windows also automatically create a restore point. So if you get any restore point over here, then select the date when your computer was working fine and then you have to click on next and then follow the step and your computer will be restored to the stage where your computer was working fine. So this is the first thing that you can try. Now in case the restore point doesn't work for you, again you have to come back to this page. Then here you have to click on troubleshoot again. Then click on advanced option. Then click on command prompt. The black window will be coming up. And here we will be running few commands. So just make sure that you do not skip anyone and apply all the command. The first one will be boot rec boot rec space forward slash fix mbr hit enter next you have to type boot rec space forward slash fix boot hit enter again now in case if you get access is denied option then you don't have to worry you can move with the next command the next one will be boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd hit enter again now this will be scanning all days for windows installation once done you have to type another command sfc space forward slash scan now now this command will take some time because it will be looking for some kind of integrity violation so you just need to wait until the command has been completed <laughs> all right so you can see now the command is completed and it says windows resource protection found corrupt file and successfully repaired them so there was some problem that has been fixed and we will also run another command that is the last command that will be chk dsk space forward slash f space c and this colon sign now here c means that it is a drive where our operating system has been installed so by default c is the only operating system where most of the people install the operating system but in case if you have installed the operating system in a different drive then you have to type the letter of that drive over here instead of c once done, hit enter again. Now this will be again scanning and checking the disk. Wait until this command has been completed. All right, so all the scanning has been completed. Next, what you have to type here, exit, hit enter. And again, click on continue and see that if the problem has been fixed. And if not, then again, you have to come to the advanced option. Click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced options. And here you will be getting an option of startup settings click on it and then click on restart and now you will be getting such kind of options on your page enable debugging enable boot logging enable low resolution video and at the bottom you will be getting two options disable early launch anti-malware protection all right so what you have to do here you need to press the f8 key that is on the top of your keyboard so press f8 and after that it will be restarting and then you need to check back if the problem has been fixed in case if this also doesn't work for you again you have to come back to the same page then you have to go with disable automatic restart after failure which is on number nine so you need to press f9 key from your keyboard and this will be now restarting all right so what you have to do just check this method and let's see that whether the computer comes up or not and on my end you can see it's coming up and I can log into my computer now. 
all right so it this fixed my problem but in case still if you have the issues the next what you have to do again come back to the same page here you have to click on troubleshoot again then click on advanced option startup settings then click on restart again now this time finally we will try to load the computer in the safe mode here you will find three different safe mode options that is enable safe mode enable safe mode with networking enable safe mode with command prompt so we have to go with enable safe mode with networking that is on number five so from your keyboard you have to press f5 key and now the computer will be loading up in safe mode with networking where we can access internet connection once it comes up you have to just log in with your pin or password and you can see that the computer is now coming up in safe mode you can see on the right hand top it says safe mode now here you have to press the window and r key from your keyboard the run box will be up here type appwiz.cpl this will bring up the program installation feature and here you have to look for any kind of application software that you have currently installed you need to uninstall it all right so whichever you find from the latest date you can just uninstall it then from the left hand menu option you have to click on view install update and you will see the latest update so if you find any date of today or yesterday uh, since when your computer just ran into this problem so you have to select that update and then click on uninstall once uninstall you have to restart the computer again and i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed so that was the complete list of solution and i'm very sure that if you apply all of them any of them will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have issues let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye